Giant sequoias like this are very, very special. They're the largest organisms on Earth, and they are ancient. But after four years of drought and the warming effects of climate change, researchers are now worried about their future. They were losing their older needles, their older leaves, in amounts that were I had never seen before. At roughly 2,500 years old, this one predates Christianity and Islam. But more importantly for today is how tall it is. It's over 75 meters, more than 240 feet tall. Scientists are going to go up in it today to try and take some water samples. And God help me, I'm going to follow them. <sighs> oh, man. Anthony Ambrose leads a team from Berkeley. He climbs to the very top of these trees to test them for signs of stress. Warmer temperatures mean the trees need enormous amounts of water. A typical giant sequoia tree of this size might use anywhere between five and 800 gallons of water in a single summer day. Trouble is, the Sierra snowpack, which provides water to trees here throughout the summer as it melts, is now at a 500-year low. The sequoias, which have survived droughts for thousands of years, are surviving this so far. But the team points out that the combination of drought and rising temperatures is unprecedented. Now that we're in the fourth year of this severe drought, they still seem to be holding up pretty well. If we had another year as severe as this one, I'd say all bets are off. This tree was a seedling during the Roman Empire and an adolescent when Muhammad was alive. The history of the United States is a tiny fraction of its past. The question is whether it and its kind can survive here in the future. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, Sierra National Park, California.